So the Tough Needle mattress is one of the original bed in a box mattresses, but is it actually any good? Well, we're gonna try to answer that for you in today's video. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, I'm Messina.com, and in today's video, we have our review of the Tough Needle Original Mattress. We're gonna talk about everything you need to know if you're interested in this particular mattress, like what it's actually made of, what it's gonna feel like for you to sleep on, how firm it is, how much it costs, and who I think this bed is ultimately gonna be best for. We've tested well over 200 beds at this point, so we've got a ton of stuff in the description to help you with your online mattress search, including our full written review of this mattress, comparisons to other popular options, I have some best lists down there, and most importantly, any discounts we can find to help save you some money on the Tough Needle mattress will be linked for you down there as well, so be sure to take a look. If you found this video helpful or interesting, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel, but let's just get right into it by quickly covering the general policies you should expect if you decide to purchase the Tough Needle mattress. Now, Tough Needle did send us this mattress for free so we could test it out and tell you about it, but if you get one for yourself, you're going to start with free bed-in-a-box shipping. The unboxing process for these mattresses is very quick and easy to do. I do recommend having someone there to help you out because it just makes the whole process go a lot more smoothly. I've unboxed several mattresses by myself. It's not impossible, it's just a little more time consuming. And one thing I should warn you about with this mattress and pretty much every other mattress in a box is that it might take a couple days for it to fully inflate and reach its proper firmness level. Right when you rip off the plastic, there's a good chance the bed will look a little misshapen and it's gonna feel pretty soft. Like if you lay down on it, you'll probably sink all the way down to your foundation or your floor. And it's also probably gonna have a bit of a smell to it. This is totally normal. It's just been compressed in that plastic for such a long time that it just needs a couple days, so don't worry about it. If you unbox your mattress and it looks totally off, you didn't make a huge mistake. And you have a lot of time to figure out if you did make a mistake because the Tough Needle mattress comes with a standard 100 night trial period. So you get to sleep on the mattress at home for a little over three months to really determine if you like it and it suits your needs. If you decide that it doesn't for any reason within that trial period, you can return it and get a full refund. Most brands like Tufts & Needle will ask you to sleep on their mattress for at least 30 nights before initiating a return. And this is important because no matter how nice your new mattress is and how well suited it is to your body, it can take some time to adjust. So having that 30 night window just for your body to get used to the mattress is pretty important. If you decide to keep the bed, which most people end up doing or else they couldn't really offer free returns, you're looking at a standard 10 year warranty with the Tufts Needle original. So that's all the policy stuff you should expect. Let's get into the more interesting stuff now, like what this mattress is actually made of and what it's gonna feel like for you to sleep on. Now, when it comes to the construction of the Tough Needle Original, this is probably one of the most basic mattress constructions we've seen. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. So this bed just has two layers of foam. It has a layer of dense support foam at the bottom, and then a very thick layer of the proprietary T and N adaptive foam. This stuff does not behave at all like a memory foam. A lot of mattresses that compete with Tufts Needle will actually have a layer of memory foam in between the support foam and the primary comfort layer. Beds like Casper and Lisa will do that, but Tough Needles opts for the big layer of comfort foam. And this gives the Tough Needle mattress just a very flat, neutral foam feel that I think pretty much everyone will agree is pretty comfortable. It might not be precisely what you're looking for. If you have a specific feel in mind for your next mattress, then this might not be it. But the design of this mattress is meant to appeal to pretty much every sleeper out there. And I think it does a pretty good job of that. It strikes a nice balance between comfort and support. You're not really gonna sink into the foam all that much because again, it doesn't really behave like a memory foam and it snaps back into a traditional shape very quickly. So it's really easy to rotate between sleeping positions. Now, when we say soft or neutral foam feel, we basically mean that it doesn't really have a distinctive feel one way or the other, whether that be a more traditional memory foam feel or a really responsive latex foam feel. It's just kind of middle of the road and most people will either really enjoy it or at least be able to get by on it. And this has a very accommodating feel. It also has a very accommodating firmness. We rate the Tufts Needle Original Mattress at a flat medium on our firmness scale, which means it should work pretty well for pretty much everyone, back, stomach, side, and combination sleepers. Now, in general, if you are a strict side sleeper, you're probably gonna want a mattress at least a medium or softer. And if you are a strict back or stomach sleeper, you're gonna want a mattress at least a medium or firmer. Now, a medium firmness mattress like this won't work perfectly for everybody or else every mattress would be a medium, but it works pretty well for everybody, especially for combination sleepers. A lot of people like myself spend some of the night in more than one position. Me personally, I'm more of a side slash back sleeper, primarily side, so a medium works pretty well for me. 
But if I were a strict side sleeper, I might want something softer than this. Or if I was a strict back sleeper, I might want something firmer than this. If you are looking for something softer, Tough Needle also makes the mint mattress, which is a thicker upgraded version of this bed with an extra layer of foam that is noticeably softer and is a really nice option for strict side sleepers. And how will the Tough Needle original mattress work for couples? I think it'll actually work really well for couples because it is so accommodating on its firmness and feel. I think there's a really good chance that you and your sleeping partner will be able to enjoy the Tough Needle original mattress or at least be able to get by on it. But how does it work for a few other categories, namely edge support and motion isolation? Now there's nothing to write home about when talking about the edge support of the Tough Needle original. A lot of other beds, especially more higher end hybrid beds, will have extra reinforced coils or foams along the edges to really improve that edge support. Now the edge support on this thing isn't necessarily bad, but it's not gonna be as solid as some other potentially more expensive options. Then the motion isolation on this thing is also pretty solid considering it's made entirely of foam. You're not gonna get a ton of cross mattress motion if your partner tosses and turns. It's not gonna do quite as well as a mattress with a memory foam comfort layer because that does a little bit better job at deadening motion, but I don't think anyone will have serious issues on this mattress. And it does a nice job at sleeping temperature neutral. The foams are quite breathable as is the cover and you don't really sink into the material as you would a memory foam. So pretty much temperature neutral. A lot of brands, including Tufts and Needle, like to talk about how their beds sleep cool. And I wouldn't necessarily describe this as a bed that's gonna actively cool you down, but it shouldn't really warm up on you that much either. Now let's move on to another really important topic and that is going to be pricing. This is a very compelling reason why a lot of people go for the Tough Needle Original because it's quite affordable. A queen size retails for just shy of a thousand bucks, which is a really nice round number for most people's budgets. I am recording this around the holiday season, which is when mattress brands have their biggest sales. And during the sale right now, you can get one for less than 900 bucks. Now I'm not sure what that sale is gonna look like going forward if you're watching this video in January or February. So make sure you look down below in the description for what's current on the Tough Needle original. Hopefully we find something to help save you some money, but Tough Needle is a little bit less consistent with their discounts in comparison to some other brands. And that ultimately leads us with the question, who should think about getting the Tufts Needle original mattress. And I think that's gonna be a pretty wide range of people. If your budget is somewhere around $1,000 and you're just looking for a generally accommodating mattress that you're probably gonna like without having to initiate a return, then I think this is gonna be a solid option. It just has a very accommodating feel that most people should like. It's around a flat medium on the firmer scale, so it should work pretty well for everybody. And even before discounts, you're spending around a thousand bucks, which I think is a pretty popular budget for people shopping for a new mattress. So what do you think about the Tough Needle Original Mattress? Write us down below in the comment section. We'd love to get your thoughts. And if you have any additional questions, put them down there as well, and we'll do our best to answer them. If you found this video helpful or interesting, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. And I know I've said this time and time again throughout this video, but it's the truth. There's a ton of resources in the description to help you with your mattress search. We're gonna have our full written reviews, comparisons, best list, and most importantly, any discounts we can find to help save you some money on this particular mattress. But that's all I've got for you. That's gonna do it for me. This is Owen with Seen at Home. And I'll see you in the next one.